Okay, I'd like to share a pretty major breakthrough I've made over the weekend with you guys. Uh, this is the communication support and serial data logging cable uh, on the Eng computer. And we've got a, uh, it's basically just a TTL to RS-232 communications cable. It's a pretty pretty universal cable. They use the cable with uh, uh, GM and Mitsubishi and uh, Honda Eng computers. Um, amongst other things, cell phones, everything. Anyway, um, We've been trying for the longest time to figure out um, what protocol the engine computer used to talk and uh, what speed it ran at and um, amongst other things. And um, the other day I was just sitting here and it kind of dawned on me, why don't I tell it how to talk? So I wrote a very crude and quick and dirty program um, to push one byte of data out of the serial port at a time. Uh, so basically what I do is I, I write a bin, a new bin, with the value that I want to data log and I upload it with the emulator. So I'm using these two devices in conjunction to data log. Uh, and as I learn more and more about it, I'll probably be able to write my own uh, standalone data logging program as, as time goes by, but I'm in no particular hurry. With this here, I've got exactly what I need. Uh, right now, uh, we've just got a basic, very generic uh, serial port monitoring tool running here. And this is the raw hex value uh, from the coolant temperature sensor. And this value is a little bit delayed, so if you move the, uh, the coolant temperature sensor quickly, it's not going to update right away. It, it kind of delays it. And this is, from what I've, from what I've uh, gathered, this is a normal uh, type of reaction. As you see, if we increase the, decrease the value here, you can see the number going down and it doesn't go down too quick. I'm going to really sharply increase it and you can see it takes a while for it to update. Okay, um, basically uh, what I've done is I inserted a, a program into the um, uh, into the uh, program call list, and I kind of make it take a make it, make it took a little uh, round trip into my into my program here, and this kind of this really really demonstrates how powerful the uh, Tuna Pro program is. The fact that I'm able to uh, do all these things simultaneously uh, uh, with the emulation and the uh, data tracing and uh, as well as using it as almost as a hex editor, as a real-time hex editor to uh, actually put in memory addresses. Uh, so I'll demonstrate to you uh, the, uh, map, the map sensor load. So this is going to be the calculated load. And let me change this here. F, C, B, oops. B2. Okay, I'm going to save this and upload and you watch the, as soon as I hit upload the value will change. And you can see the value changes from 5 something to DE or 0E. And the map sensor value uh, actually only updates when the engine is running. So in order to see any changes to the, to the load we have to uh, run the motor. So let me uh, start up my simulator. You can see as we increase the load, the value goes up, and as we decrease the load, the value goes down. You can see this runs a lot quicker than the coolant temperature sensor monitor. Um, this here is actually the calculated load. So this is from our last video, this is the load that maxes out at 3 volts. Um, and um, this is this is what we're really playing with here. This is the the key to, to boost support. Um, I also found the uh, the map sensor uh, raw value, which is the actual zero to five volts. And um, if I'm able to, uh, depending on how how that reacts, because there's a lot of things that tie this into the engine computer, depending on how that reacts, we might be able to use that value for the fuel and ignition maps. So keep your fingers crossed, guys. Thanks for watching.